Hello everyone. In this video, we will see the tests of significance. So, there are frequent topics and questions. So, I recommend you to solve the question bank after watching this video. So, basically, they are going to perform a research study. They are going to perform a research study. In this research study, the first step is they are going to frame a hypothesis. Hypothesis is a statement. This statement is correct. So, there are two components in the hypothesis. It can be a null hypothesis. An null hypothesis or an alternate hypothesis. So the tests of significance are used as now. It is going to test whether the framed hypothesis is significant or not. So this is the test of significance we use for. So broader tests of significance are two types. In a it can be a parametric or a non-parametric. So parametric, abrina, it is something to do with numericals. It is called as also called as quantitative tests. Whereas non-parametric it is called as qualitative tests. So data of the value it is going to be numbers or values in parametric. It is nominal or in the form of name or in the form of categories in non-parametric. Example path to blood group. For example, our group we are having various blood groups like AB positive, B positive. So in a percentage each blood group will be in the background. So here the blood group is how we are going to categorize the group. Hathay mari religion. So 50% religion A, 30% religion B. So in religion da, it is the name. Parametric le examples paathe tomna blood sugar. So blood sugar vandu it's a particular value. Namal na test pala mudiyo. So adha vichta we are classifying into normal, pre-diabetic, diabetic. Hathay mari height, weight, it's allame vandu numerical data. So next one important point. Enna vina, we are going to compare the standard deviations or mean. So question is direct standard deviation mean. Mean could have to go. Adhi madhari in non-parametric we are going to compare proportions or medians. Proportions are the usual percentage la could have to go. Next distribution curve could have to go. It is a normal distribution in parametric tests. Whereas in a skewed distribution we are going to use non-parametric tests. So parametric test or quantitative test we are going to compare means or standard deviation. One group could compare parla that is within one group or we can compare between two groups or between more than two groups. So within one group we are using this test called as paired t-test. This is also called as dependent sample t-test which means we are dependent on one particular group. So let's say we are having a group of population all are diabetic patients. So we are going to treatment and after treatment we are checking the FBS and BBS. So Pre-treatment one value and post-treatment one value. So if we are comparing these two values, we are going to use pad t-test. Next, between two groups, we are going to use the test which is called as unpaired t-test. This is also called as independent t-test. It is also called as student t-test. So example, we have two groups. Let's say group A and group B. So group A is a drug A and group B is a drug B. So after giving the drug, we are testing the response. So in the inter-group, if we are going to compare, we can use this unpaired tests. So more than two groups, we are having this one test which is called as ANOVA test. It is a full form of analysis of variance. So multiple groups, in the multiple groups, we are going to study one particular parameter. For example, height. In the school, there are standards. So in the standard, we have mean height. And we are going to compare it with each other. So in the comparison, we are going to use ANOVA test. So next one, the non-parametric test, this is also called as qualitative test. We are going to compare proportions and medians. So there are two tests. One is within one group, one is between more than two groups. There are two tests. So within one test, the test is called as McNema test. And between more than two groups, it is chi-square test. So McNema test, if you want to do one example, so let's consider one group of population which is having 10% obesity. So 10% obesity is there. Now when we are going to give some intervention in the form of drugs or lifestyle changes, diet changes. So after this intervention, every percentage is there, say 5%. So before and after percentage, we are seeing the proportion. So we are using McNema's test. Whereas in Eparama Kai Square test, we are going to check, compare the proportions between two groups. So let's say there is an infection. In group A, we are going to use drug A and group B, we are going to use drug B. So after treatment every percentage people could recover the air and bring it up and this is also a proportion so this is nothing but a cure rate so rate and the marine terms like for now it is nothing but proportion and we are going to use chi-square test so in the basic knowledge which in the basic software now first we have to check 
whether it is a quantitative test or it is a qualitative test so quantitative array t t t nu varudha paarenga so remember t test t tests and also anova test so qualitative la remember only one test that is the chi square test first idu kandupidikom next additional details la irukku paarenga whether the data is in the form of numerical values or category single patients so data numerical values are ka illa nominal categories are ka abingiradha paarenga so next step vandu edha compare panna porom in quantitative quantitative we are going to compare standard deviation and means whereas in qualitative we are going to compare proportions or percentage or median so idha important so enna quantitative abina remember t test number data comparing the standard deviation or means in qualitative we have chi square test and there will be a nominal or categorical data we are going to compare proportions or percentage or median let's see fuse bottle a cardiologist wants to study the effect of whatever statin she measures the initial cholesterol levels of 50 patients so after month of treatment she measures the cholesterol level again so illa paathutoma the cholesterol level abingiradhu it is a particular value so 50 patient irukanga avangalukku whatever statin kudukrom so before treatment namakku idu or cholesterol value irukku adhe maari treatment kudutadhukku appuram we have another cholesterol value so we are comparing these two values that is a pre treatment and post treatment cholesterol value within the same group so here we will be using pad t test which is also called as dependent sample t test this is an example of a parametric test so next question so next one the a pediatrician carried out a study to assess the difference in growth velocities in boys and girls the average height of a group of 20 boys so average abina it means the mean so inge rendu group irukku ena 20 boys irukku and 20 girls irukku avanga rendu per nadula mean height ah compare panna porom so boys and girls la mean height ah compare panna porom so this is nothing but a parametric test which compares two groups adhena test it is the unpaired t test which is also called as student t test which is also called as independent sample t test so next question is already passed tha what is the most appropriate test for testing the difference in heights of school children so school children are many groups irukum many class irukum so over class ku namu vandu average paathu we are going to compare this is nothing but analysis of variance test analysis of variance test is a type of parametric test next in a particular trial the association of lung cancer with smoking is found to be 40% in one sample 60% in another sample so inge smoking la check pandranga 40% 60% appdi kuduthirukku and there is two groups so percentage appadina it is proportion and we are comparing it between two sample groups so this is an example of non parametric test ena proportion kuduthirukku so options paathona pad t test on pad t test or other because they are parametric test so chi square test or fisher test idla nama padichadha enna chi square test idla fisher test appadina it is uh, less than 5 romba small groups or small population la test panakudiya exact test adu it is also a type of a parametric test but in the question can answer it is chi square test so this is all about the various tests of significance kindly solve the question back thank you